Hello. I hope you have a good day. The automotive industry has a way of balancing itself out. The Dodge Viper went out of production, for example, a few months after the first Ford GT started rolling off the line. While Ferrari and Lamborghini were giving up on the manual transmission, Porsche was doubling down. And just a week after Toyota put the FJ Cruiser to pasture for good, Suzuki unveiled the XBE. Ostensibly based on the Hustler minivan, the XBE, pronounced cross B, takes the form of a retro sport ute, albeit one that doesn't look like it to be quite as capable as the discontinued Toyota, and much smaller to boot. But such are the times we live in when off-road stalwarts like the Ford Explorer and Nissan Pathfinder have switched from body and ladder frame construction to car-based anybodies. Capabilities and size aside, the XBE that first appeared as a concept at the Tokyo Motor Show a few months ago is now going into production, albeit just for the Japanese market, for the time being at least. Described as combining the spacious cabin of a wagon and the fun of an SUV, the XBE is being launched in Japan exclusively with a hybrid powertrain, based around a 1.0-liter turbocharged engine mated to a six-speed automatic transmission and available with either two- or four-wheel drive. Two trim levels are available with either driver trains, prices ranging from 1,765,800 yen, about $16,000, for the base, front drive XBE and extra 2,145,960 yen, about $19,000, for an all-wheel drive MZ. Suzuki's also packed a whole raft of active safety systems in there, and figures it can sell about 2,000 of them every month in its home market, 